Let's talk about multiple project slides. By now, you know that the Explain Everything Canvas is infinite, but what if you still need more slides? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add extra slides to a project and how to maneuver your way between them. Let's get started. As you probably already know, the Explain Everything Canvas is infinite. Still, there are times when you might want to have things, you know, organized on separate slides as opposed to having to like pan around the canvas looking for what you want to talk about next. One of these cases is, for example, when you're giving like a traditional presentation that you prepared in slide form. So let's just start with how easy it is to create new slides and explain everything. So all you have to do is tap the plus sign in the bottom right. And when that happens, as you can see, the number of slides in our presentation right here has grown to two. So now we have two slides. And if we wanted to add a presentation to our canvas, all we would have to do is go to add media, then go to file, find the location of what we would like to add. In this case, it is right here. And then choose the option separate slides. When we do this, as you can see, what has happened is every slide that was prepared beforehand is now on a separate slide. And this really makes for like easy, organized presentation. But there's also a second option. So this you might have already known about because it was covered in the basics level of the step-by-step -step guides. But now we're gonna take it up a notch and talk about different slides and how they can be used when doing a collaborative project. So right now I've created this really, really simple project about art masterpieces that's made up of three different slides, as you can see here. And what I'd like to do is invite my students to collaborate on this project together so I can show you how these different slides can be used during a collaboration and how flexible all of this is. So I'm going to start by tapping invite, of course. And as you can see, my, um, the link to my project has already appeared and the code is here as well. As usual, I'll be sharing this code with my, with my students and uh, I'll see them in the project. So here we are now together in this project, me and my student Martha, and we'll both be labeling different paintings from different slides. I'm here on slide one and I have a Vermeer from I believe it's 1665. And if we go to Martha's slide over here, we can see that Martha is on her own slide, adding her own input to the canvas. Oil on beaver board, wow, <laughs> I've never heard of that. Um, so as you can see, working with separate slides can be really convenient for like group collaborative projects. It keeps things organized, you know, you can have one student on one slide, another student on the other slide, and this way people aren't like getting in their way, getting in each other's way. So hopefully this will convince you that despite the fact that the canvas is infinite, using separate slides is also super useful.